Lord, we thank you for your word. We thank you that you love us so much. I pray that you would talk to us, Lord, that we would, uh, we've been through Thanksgiving, Lord, that we would continue that attitude of thankfulness throughout the entire holiday season. And Lord, we give you these things in Jesus' name. Amen. So I'm going to just read Psalms 1 and 2. And kids, I'm going to need your help with some things. So I'll just be ready. You guys, kids, are you ready? You're ready. Sweet. We're so ready. Verses 1. I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. I will recount all of your wonderful deeds. I will be glad and exult in you. And I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. So when we give thanks to God, we want to give thanks with our whole heart. So kids, I want you to go like this, and adults too if you want, just don't smack the person next to you. Our whole hearts. Not, not part of it, not a little bit, but our whole heart, right? Our whole heart. We want to give thanks with our whole heart. If you also look at, I will recount all of your wonderful deeds. Kids, how high can you count? What's the highest number you can count? Yes. A thousand. Whoa, that's a lot. Does anybody, how else, how, how, how high can you count? Anybody else? A hundred. That's a lot. Adults, how high can you count? <laughs> 14. All right. <laughs> that's awesome. Here the Bible says, and it's David speaking, King David as in David and Goliath. He's giving this national holiday sort of remembrance idea. And when he says, I want to recount all of your wonderful deeds, it's this idea that we remember all the things that God has done for us. All the things that God has done, period. And so this is what, we want, this is what I want to do. I want you to take a moment in your mind. I want you to think of two or three things that you're thankful for. You guys ready? Kids, you ready? Do you got two or three things you're thankful to Jesus for? You got two or three? Yeah? Oh, thank you. That's all. That's so sweet. So sweet. That was not planned, by the way. <laughs> She's not a plant. <laughs> we did not pay her or bribe her. That was all real. Um, so think of two or three things that you're thankful for. And you guys know the wave. Like when you go and you, you do the wave and then you like put your hands up and then he goes back and forth. You guys know what I'm talking about? Sweet. So what we're going to do is that we're going to do the wave. Kids up here, look up here. Charlotte, look up here. Look up here. We're going to do the wave and then we're going to just shout out the things that we're thankful for as we go back and forth. So we're going to start over here, go all the way over here, and then go back over here. You guys ready? So you guys ready? So you, some of you are like, I don't know about this. <laughs> you're like, but it's going to be awesome. So here we go. You guys got your two or three thankful things in your head? Sweet. Give a thumbs up if you got them. Give a thumbs up if you got your two or three thankful things. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Yeah, sweet. Okay, here we go. Ready? I'm thankful for... Hi! Oh, there's only one person that did it. Oh, we got we to gotta work on this. So you guys ready? As we go around, it's like just say what you're thankful for. I'm thankful for... Uh, oh, 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 we got to work on this. We got to work on this. One more time. One more time. We got to do the wave. Do the wave. Yeah. Wave. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Do the wave and say what you're thankful for. Yes. Do the wave and say what you're thankful for. Now we're ready. Third time's a charm. Here we go. You ready? I'm thankful for... Yay! Go backwards! Da, 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 da. Oh! <laughs> yeah, sorry, I tripped you guys up. We'll start over here. I'm thankful for... Yay! Yay! Oh, awesome. Awesome. How you doing, Dominic? You good? He's great. He's great. He's awesome. He's doing great. Verse 2. I love family service. It's so fun. Um, I will be glad and exult in you, and I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. There's something about singing to God that really helps us be thankful. Sometimes we might think, I don't feel like being thankful. And I know this sounds really weird, but maybe you should just start singing to the Lord some songs about being thankful. Because a lot of times our minds, like they got to lead our heart sometimes. Where we have to say, Lord, I, I want to be thankful. Lord, I am thankful. And you lead your heart that way. 
and you start singing to the Lord and you start singing praises to him with all those things. So I will be glad and exult in you. I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. And one thing about being thankful that I think is helpful is perspective. When we were counts and when we talk about all the things that God has done for us and all the things that God has done, period, making the world, uh, giving, us, giving us choices, blessing us with so many amazing things, and we really look at all the things that God has done, it gives us a credible perspective. And so what I have, kids up here, it's like, I'm almost lost you, but don't worry. I, like, I haven't lost you yet. You may have been wondering what this is. Why is this up here this whole time? You guys, you guys see this? What's on the box here, kids? Can you see? What? Yes. What is it, Libby? Candles. candles. So this is actually some very special candlesticks. These candlesticks belonged to uh, Jackie's grandparents, Grandpa Ralph and Grandma Gert. Gertie, sorry, Gertie. We named a chicken after Grandma Gertie, and her name was Gert. Um, it was really sweet. But one thing that really struck me about this story that, that I hadn't really thought of before, context and perspective really does help us be thankful. So they met. It's a classic story. They should totally make a movie about them. Uh, Grandpa Ralph was in the Italian military, and Grandma Gert was from Ireland, and she went to London during World War II to help out with the war effort and was an assistant nurse. And they met in London during the war, and they fell in love. Aww, right? Aww. And they got married. And it was, it was an amazing time you know, to, to still be in love and to get married because it was pretty crazy in London in World War II. And they had these two candlesticks because they did not have much. For Thanksgiving, they would have these two candlesticks on orange carts, and they would have Thanksgiving. And that was it. They were very poor. They didn't have a lot. And I was thinking about, wow, what did our Thanksgiving look like compared to theirs? I mean, Let's be honest. Some of us, <clears throat> myself included, committed the sin of gluttony this past Thursday, right? <laughs> it was just a little too much. But when you look at this, and they were still thankful for what they had. And I really want to encourage you that the context and the perspective of your life will help you be thankful. Remember where God has brought you from. And remember what God has promised to do with you going forward. Context and, and perspective really is key. It really does help. That's not going to work. It really does help us be thankful with a lot of things. And so I would encourage you guys, like during not only the rest of service, but throughout this whole holiday season, remember and recount all the things that God has done for you. And I would challenge you to start writing them down. You might get to 50. You might get to 100. Some of you might get to a thousand, but when you start writing out all those things that God has done for you, you'll remember and you will sing to the Lord because you have that thankful heart. Amen? Amen. That's it for the teaching. Wow. <laughs> so short. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take communion together. Uh, so uh, Kaylee is going to lead us in communion. And so uh, I worship guys and gals, if you'd like to come back up. And obviously, the biggest thing to be thankful for is salvation, because Jesus has saved us for what he did on the cross. So let's pray, and let's prepare our hearts for communion, and Kaylee will come and lead us. Lord, we thank you for this time. Again, we love you so much. We give you all the praise and all the glory. Lord, I pray that throughout this whole holiday season, we would have that thankful heart. Lord, that we would remember where you've brought us. And Lord, we give you all the praise and we give you all the credit for what you're going to do in the future. Lord, rem help us to remember. Help us to recount all of your wonderful deeds. And all of God's people said, Amen.